But if you close your eyes Alright, hello YouTube, and welcome to part 1 of my How to Make a Simulator series. In this series, I will be teaching you how to make a simulator from beginning to end, including stats, saving, rewarding stats, rebirths, purchasing items, trails, and anything else requested in the comments below. In, this, in the first part, we will be doing data stores and saving stats. So, first, you're going to need to go to server script service, click the plus icon and insert a new script. Right click and rename this data stores. Now write local ds equals ds equals game colon get service data store service colon get data store I think I pressed instance there. Data store. Well, PLR data. That happens to you when you're typing code that you get this white bar that hovers over a certain character. Just click the instance button. It should be in between your number pad and your main keyboard, just to the right of the backspace. Now that you add that, you're going to want to add, say, type game dot oops game dot players dot player added colon connect function plr now you're going to say local alita stats equals instance dot new folder player this will create a new folder in the player called leader stats then leader stats dot name equals leader stats to give the folder a name. Now anything that goes under the leader stats folder in the player will be displayed in the top right leaderboard. If it's if the folder's name is not leader stats, then it won't be displayed there. So now we're gonna make whatever we want to name our points. In this I'm just gonna call it points to go along with the theme of the sim. Local points equals instance dot new int value because it's going to be an integer value for our points and place it inside leader stats then points dot name is equal to points now we want to say local saved data so we want to see if the player has saved data so set the data set the saved data variable to data store calling get async with a key there and then we want to, uh, above that we want to say local key equals plr dash dot dot player dot user id Now this is saying the local key, so say my user ID is 5123, my key will be player-5123. Since every player has a different user ID, the key will never be the same. So say I join the game, it's going to get the same data for someone with key 5123. I'll be the only one with that key, so it will get my saved data uh, saved into this variable. So now we're going to say if save data so if the player has saved data if they've been in the game before then set their points dot value equal to saved data one the first law in saved data I know already started zero however we're just using one in this scenario just because it's easier to work with with ins table with inserting stuff into tables so then after this we're going to want to type else local data to save so the data we're going to save is equal to a table points dot value I'm making it a table so that we can add other stats in the future without having multiple data stores then data store colon set 
es colon set async set the async key that means what we want to save to it is a data to save so this doing this just makes sure at the beginning if the player doesn't have data just to give them data so that we know they have joined the game just in case we ever want to do something on a player's first time joining the game or something like that it just helps prevent errors now we want to make it actually save when the player leaves the game so that they don't have to constantly be saving so game dot players dot player removing colon connect function player a local key equals plr dash dot dot player dot user id then local data to save equals player dot leader stacks dot points dot value ds colon set async key data to save now this will save the player's data give them points value in the leader stats so now if you close out of that script click play also just ignore the way my base plate looks i'll change that to normal i just have that as a preset because i prefer it i'll leave the link to that plug in the description in case you want it yep as you can see points if you go into our player there's leader stats points that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed. The next part I will be teaching you how to give points to the player when they click a GUI and also how to give points to a player when they click with a tool.